Are you planning on getting inspections on a house you're selling or a house that you're buying and you want to know more about it? In this video, I'm going to talk about some things that home inspectors simply can't evaluate. So let's get to it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Marin County, reach out to me. I love helping people make a smooth, smart move. So without further ado, so when purchasing a home, one of the most important steps are the home inspections. This is going to tell you a lot about the house, but you need to know that there are some items that the inspection likely won't evaluate. Number one, the evaluation of pools and septic systems. Home inspectors aren't certified to inspect everything in a home. So if a home that you're looking at has a pool or a septic system, you should call in a pool expert or a septic system expert in order to evaluate the condition of those items. Having problems with either one of them can be a very high price ticket event. So you'll want to know what you're in store for. Two, hidden flaws. Obviously I'm saying this in the title. It's hidden and therefore it's hidden from the inspector as well. Inspectors check for what they can see without having to move things. So they might not be able to say whether or not the foundation is cracked underneath some sort of paneling or that there's some electrical plug that they can't see and it's not functioning. You need to be aware of that as a buyer because the inspection didn't actually cover that. Of course, a good inspection is going to describe what the inspector was unable to inspect. But take note, there's likely up to quite a few things that the inspector was unable to actually see. And so those items are not covered in your inspection. Three, termites, rats, or mold. Most inspectors are not licensed to determine these things. They will likely take note of evidence of these items, but they are not experts in the area. So they might notice things like sagging floors, which could be termites, shredded insulation, which can be rats, black discoloration on walls, which can be mold, but they won't have the expertise to tell you exactly what it is. So you may want to call in additional inspections if any of those turn up in a home inspection. Four, unnecessary repairs. Okay, so this is kind of on the other side of things, which is that some inspectors will mark down every single little thing and it might not be something that's actually very problematic. So you're going to have to go through the items and evaluate whether or not the list is problematic and to what level it might be problematic. Your realtor can review the report with you and make suggestions on what is normal wear and tear and what you might want to request as repairs to be done for you. I hope this was helpful to you. If so, give me that thumbs up and subscribe. And if there's something that you would like to know about, add a comment below. I'm doing videos all the time. 